Don't try to mirror an image in Final Cut Pro unless you're doing these six things. I'll show you a fast one-click mirror effect and what to do when you realize that mirror effect isn't all that. Then I'll share a couple tips for making your own custom mirror effect. And if you want a cool mirror effect like this one, stick around till the end. All right, the fastest way is to use the mirror effect. In Final Cut Pro, click on the effects browser right here, then go down to the distortion category and look for the mirror effect. Then drag and drop it onto your clip or your image, and bam, we have a mirror effect. You'll see this on-screen control right here. We can move where the mirror happens. We can also rotate it, so we could turn it into a horizontal mirror or an angled mirror. If I select my clip and open up the inspector by clicking on this button with the three sliders and go to the video inspector, I can see my mirror effect here and I have some options as well. I've got my center controls and that's just tied to here and I can move that around. And then I also have the angle, which I can control here. And then I have this repeat border pixels. What does that do? Well, let's move our on-screen control over here to the right and you'll see that it has this like smeared or stretched pixel stretching out here. And what's that? what that does is it's repeating the pixels at the edge or border of the image so that you don't have any black or empty transparent spots here. I can also turn that off and now you'll see that it's transparent and anything underneath that is visible. So the mirror effect is great for a quick, fast, mirror, but sometimes it doesn't work well. Check out this clip of myself. I'm not centered, I'm over here on the left-hand side and I wanna create some sort of mirror effect. So I'll select my clip and then I'll double click on the mirror effect to add it. And then I will tweak the on-screen control. I want myself to be on the left-hand side and the right-hand side and I can't get it with this effect. This is about the best I can do and now I'm off screen here. The mirror effect is really hard to work with when your action is on the left or right side and not in the center. So sometimes the mirror effect just doesn't work. You're gonna have to do some custom mirrors yourself. All right, so to get the effect I want, I need to hold down option and I'm gonna click and drag up on my clip to make a duplicate copy. Then in the inspector, I'm going to change scale X from 100 to negative 100 and you'll see it flips me over here to the right hand side. Now I'll go down to the crop section and I'll select click and drag on this right crop to crop off and reveal the video underneath it. Now this video is 4K, so half of that is going to be 1920. So I'm gonna crop it right at 1920 to get it right in the center. And now I have this cool mirror effect of me on both sides. Now I wanna make a custom vertical mirror that doesn't necessarily have to be right in the center. So I've got this image here, this cool guy on a motorcycle. Man, I wish I was him. Anyway, select the image and go to Inspector and change Spatial Conform from Fit to Fill. And then let's recompose this. I'm going to click and drag up on Y position here and bring him up into screen here. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do just like before and I'm going to Option, click and drag on my image to make a duplicate and then I'll set that scale X to negative 100 to flip him. Okay, nice. Now I want the crop or mirror to happen right here along the motorcycle and I want it in the center. So first I'm gonna click on view and then click on show horizon. And I'm, being, I'm gonna use this vertical line that's right in the center to line things up. So first I'll select my top layer and let's move that motorcycle and then I'll click and drag on X down to move my image over to the left. And now I will also crop it. I'll drag the left crop to the center. And now I'll select my bottom clip and I'll click and drag up on the X value to move it over. I wanna match it exactly, so I'll just double click on it and put in the opposite value, so 340. And then let's turn off the horizon, click on view and deselect show horizon. And now we have a mirrored effect with our motorcycle guy. So I gotta ask, are you getting this? Is it making sense? Am I doing a good job teaching? If so, will you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. In a second, I'm gonna show you that really trippy, cool mirror effect. But first, I wanna show you how to make a horizontal mirror effect. Now let's do a horizontal mirror. Let's select our image and change the spatial conform to fill. And then let's duplicate our layer, hold down option, click and drag up. Now I wanna flip him and make him upside down. So in the inspector, I'll change scale Y from 100 to negative 100. And then I'll click and drag on the Y value down to move him down in space. There we go. Now I'll drag this bottom crop slider to right above his face. There we go. Now I'll select my bottom layer and let's move it up. I'll click and drag on the Y value to move him up. There we go. But this top layer is still covering his face. So I need to bring it down a little bit more. If I hold down option while I click and drag on that, it can fine tune 
the cutoff. It's still covering him up though. So let's bring our top layer image down just a little bit. There we go. Now we need to match our bottom layer, which is actually this top one. You'll see it's not doing our mirror effect. That's because we need to bring it up a little bit more. There we go. All right, now we can see our horizontal mirror effect. All right, now let's do that cool mirror effect that does it vertically and horizontally. But first I wanna turn on this horizon tool. I'll click view and then click show horizon. And then if I go down here to my effects, to tiling, I can click and drag this kaleidoscope tile onto my image and you'll see it starts to do a cool mirror effect like a kaleidoscope. I'll use this on-screen control to reduce how many times. Right now, you'll see that it's mirrored vertically and horizontally. Cause see, we've got these four stripes here. We can see that. If I just want to do a horizontal mirror, I just keep going with this on-screen control and now I just got top and bottom. I can adjust where that happens. I can move it up and down. Let's move it up here and we can see those clouds. There we go, that looks pretty cool. And if I select my clip and go to the inspector, you can see I have a bunch of options in here. The center is connected to this on-screen control right here. Offset angle is connected to this on-screen control. We can make some kind of trippy, weird inception style mirror effects with that. And then segment angle is connected to this on-screen control. Now this effect looks cool on an image, but it looks even better on a video. Check this out. I've got this video of a boat speeding along. And if I drag and drop my kaleidoscope effect on there and then tweak the on-screen controls, let's go for four segments. And then if I move this right here, kind of in the middle, I've got four different segments of this boat. Now check it out. It looks like the boat's kind of moving into itself with the water coming out in a kaleidoscope trippy way. The mirror effect looks awesome for images, but did you know you can also edit your pictures in Final Cut Pro, kind of like you can do with Photoshop? I put together my seven tips for editing pictures in Final Cut Pro and made a video about it. Click here to check it out.